friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with small people size of this people is about 3.5 mm let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus this is phenocaine containing tropicamide phenylephrine and chalocaine the patient is under topical anesthesia few drops of proparacaine has been applied over the ocular surface this is trypan blue dye underneath an air bubble and now this is adrenaline so we have used a lot of agents to dilate the people without any effect the size of the people is same And now, if I try to do FACO with this small paper, with this about 3.5 to 4 millimeter paper, there can be a lot of problems. So in this case, I have decided to apply an people expansion device. After application of viscoelastic substance, the size of the paper is not enough to get an adequate sized rexis uh, this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away and now this two air bubbles are removed to get better visualization of the anterior capsule few amount of some amount of SPMC is applied underneath the iris to make some room for this device. This is BHEX ring invented by Dr. Sivan Vattacharji of Kolkata, India, a very good friend of mine. This is a very thin uniplanar device. You don't need any injector system to apply and remove this device it is so flexible that it can go through a 2 millimeter incision and even less than that some amount of visco is applied over the cornea and our visibility is good the anti-capsule is stained with stripe and blue dye and now we can do a nice rexis. Size of this rexis is about 5.25 millimeter. In some areas, the rexis goes beyond the dilated paper, which is about 5 millimeter. So we have got an adequate size rexis, and now this is hydro dissection. The fluid wave goes from one side to the other side. The nucleus is tapped, the lens mass is tapped from above and the nucleus rotates nicely. Now the FACO needle goes with its bevel down and some superficial lens matter is removed. Then the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up. And now my plan is to do direct chop. Nuclear sclerosis in this case is about NS2 and it is difficult to hold such kind of nucleus. So the chopper does the main job. The fecundity remains at the center just applying little vacuum and supporting the lens mass and the chopper does the main job and now the fragments are emulsified in this case the ultrasonic energy used is about 50 percent flow rate is 45 ml per minute vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury from beginning 
and during emulsification of the last piece the vacuum is reduced to 250 and flow rate 25. So the nucleus is managed that is epinucleus also has come out and now a thin sheet of cortical matter is there it has to be removed and I'm using this very safe instrument this is a Simcoe cannula this is a 23 gauze Simcoe cannula we can use 22 gauze Simcoe cannula also yes most of the uh, lens matter has come out now we go through the side port and remove the remaining cortex yes the cortex has been removed uh, nicely and now there are, there are a lot of minute air bubbles sticking to the corneal endothelium at this time the bag and the antechamber is filled up with visco the small air bubbles didn't come out here goes a monofocal single piece hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens the lens has gone in the capsular bag the lens is rotated so that the optics are about 90 degree away from the main incision and now is the time to clean visco nicely I spend a lot of time here I spend time with Simco I spend time with bimanual irrigation aspiration yes I did a mistake here before removing the BHX ring I started cleaning the visco so to correct the mistake I had to inject visco again and remove the BHX ring now again start cleaning the visco irrigate the anterior chamber go behind the lens irrigate the capsular bag unless we do a nice cleaning of visco the intraocular pressure will rise there will be steamy corneal edema and patient will be very much uncomfortable the patient cannot see clearly the next day and the patient doesn't feel happy so we must clean all the visco very very nicely after using Simco for some time I used the irrigation aspiration probes we irrigate the antechamber and then to irrigation and aspiration together and this is a nice cleaning of visco this is a bit of moxifloxacin now the sideboard is nicely clean and nicely closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of this stab wound and this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber and here after forming the anterior chamber the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence